father. My dad. My dad. My father. My dad. My dad. Oh, God. Dad. Well, he's like unlike any other dad. My dad's a very interesting he guy. He was a unique man. I always yeah. thought of my father as kind of like a people magnet. My father was a scout growing up, and he was always prepared. My dad always had a five-year plan, a ten-year plan. He distrusted politicians. You know, above anything else, he'd tell you in a heartbeat, he'd drop anything for, for family. My father was a big kidder, which is where I get a lot of that. My father was very, very stubborn. He's uh, kind of his way or the highway. My father and I would have a date for the afternoon, just the two of us. Dad, to me, has always been a model of stability. Because Daddy would always be there. Daddy would take care of it. He had huge, strong hands. And I just remember him lifting these boulders. And when he spoke, it was like thunder. And he said to me, you eat what your mother puts on this table, child. He has a big chest and cuddly like a big bear. Worth of 250 pounds, which he has never been able to lose. But, you know, these skinny legs and skinny arms and a little pot belly, but that's He has right. a lot of facial but hair. He used to have, like, the prickliest beard. He's had a mustache my entire life. He used to smoke a pipe. So if we were taking pictures, sometimes he would take off his glasses. And I would look back at the pictures and think, that doesn't even look like my dad. My dad has the most loving eyes. His eyes, his eyes were, he had a light hazel. He dressed well, always had his suits pressed and clean. And if he had on a pair of sneakers, they were like they had been polished. My entire life he had that same pair of dress shoes. Now though our shoes would always change, his shoes would stay the same. My dad is a carpenter. My father was a pipe fitter. He was a restaurant owner. He's a computer programmer. He works in an office. My father was a career naval officer. A foreign service diplomat. He was a second generation in a family funeral business. He is an estimator. A factory foreman. My father was a doctor. He was a newspaper man. He put filament in tubes. He taught music. He's a movie maker. He's a lifelong automotive mechanic. He was a self-employed insurance man. He had worked on the tugboats. My dad has run our family apple my orchard. My father worked in finance. He was a police officer and he had a roofing company on the side. Well, he was still my dad and I was so proud of him seeing him in this setting in a way that I didn't really see him at home. He was my Cub Scout leader. He always coached my soccer team. He was always the coach of the football team. We'd go see the Yankees and he would tell me about all the old ball players. And he taught us how to swim and how to dive. My dad took us camping and hiking. We always went to the opera or plays. When we go serving together, nothing beats it. I can't really remember life without playing tennis with my dad. When we're on vacation, he wants to get up and go biking. But the one thing that we could always do as a father and a daughter is we could ski together. We skied together. We owned a house up in we Vermont. We did go bowling. I would cook with him almost every day. Just sitting on the couch, not saying many words, watching a sporting event. And then when I was eight, he was killed in a car accident. She said to me, oh, honey, daddy didn't make it this morning and I just fell to the floor. But it was, uh, you know, just he was here and he, was, he wasn't here anymore. And when he passed, I thought how short life is, it was over. And we wasted X amount of years, you know, arguing or disagreeing. And I thought, you know, how meaningless or senseless this is. I look at my children and I think, he would have gone crazy for them and vice versa. Even as I now go through the holidays, uh, first year since his passing of just thinking about calling him when Penn State won the football game yesterday and realizing he's not there to call. I miss him. I miss my dad. I noticed uh, without even thinking about it that I would say a lot of things to my kids and I would react to a lot of things that they did the same way he did to me. How my father was with me made me want to be a more affectionate, compassionate father. And it was warmth security, everything's right with the world. You know, uh, it's like Mark Twain said, the older I got, the smarter my father got. If I could be half the man my father was, I would be one heck of a man today. The impact um, that he had in my life was just phenomenal, phenomenal. That's a dad, that's a dad.